Let's start. Um, I don't. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I, this is what the syllabus. I, I'm not going to go point by point, point but uh, let us read a little bit on this this story. All right. Uh, this guy, Goss. What is interesting is in primary school. In primary school, uh, his teacher asked him keep the students occupied. Ask it, keep it by adding the first one hundred positive integers. Primary school, ah. Uh, I know some of you can do it now. I know some of you can do it now. But in primary school, I'm sure. Actually, I don't know. I didn't know. Of course, at primary school, you have to add 100. I can't do it within my one minute or two minutes. But you know how you did it? No. Oh, it's that thing, right? Like that. Like that. I don't know. Like, is, it, is it like that? You wanted to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to. Correct? Yeah. Then you let it be A lah. Correct? Yeah. And then A is also 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus all the way to 1, right? Correct? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So what is 2A? You add this 2 is 101. You add this 2 is 101. This one is 101. Correct? Yes? So therefore, how many 101s are there? 100. 100. 100. Times one zero one, so therefore A is just fifty times one zero one, which is five zero five zero. We did one minute better. Correct? Yes. This is what we are doing. This is what we call an arithmetic progression. All right. At one, at one, at one. So it's two plus four plus six plus eight. Correct. This is what we're going to learn in this in this chapter. This is called arithmetic progression at a number constant number. Okay, quite clever. I thought this 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 is quite clever. So he did it like that. Ken? Is that alright? Any questions? Okay, good. Okay, let's define certain things first before we can go on, okay? A sequence. A sequence is a set of numbers with a def with a rule of obtaining numbers. I'm sure some of us do PSLE, uh, they will always give us this kind of thing, right? Or what is the What is the missing number? The kind of thing, ah, huh? oh. Oh, this is a sequence. A sequence can be finite or infinite. Finite or infinite. Finite means, okay, let's say one, two, three, four. There are only four terms in the sequence. This is a finite sequence. It's finite. Yeah, this is infinite. Infinite could be something like that as well. It could be uh, 1, 3, 5, 7. The moment I put dot, 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 three dots, not five, must be three. Really, 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 it must be three. To signify that is an infinite sequence, that means it will never end. This is finite, this is infinite. The moment you put dot, 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 it will look here, uh, look here. Uh, you all see, uh, this one, you all count how many dots are there, you all count your notes, how many dots? How many dots? Three, uh, not four, not five, not two. One is first off. Three is invited. That means you carry on and on and on. Like. Follow? Okay, all right. Each number in a sequence of curve. Okay, each number is called a term. That means this is the this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. All right, all okay? Okay, quite simple. Okay, uh, let's be very quick about it. Let's look at this sequence. Are we able to complete the sequence? This is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term, seventh term. Are you able to fill up? The eighth term, ninth term. Can can we look? Quite easy, quite easy lah. Oh, I sh this is one two eight. This is two five six. Times two times two times two. No big problems. All right. The second sequence that you see. What is it? 
quite easy, okay? Uh, this will be minus one, zero, 1 over 8 and 1 over 9. Okay? Fibonacci sequence. How do we determine this number? This plus this goes to 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 8, 13, and so on and so forth. Okay? Alright? Some of us will know the, the, the very nice, this, this, this phone. Fibonacci sequence have very nice applications. Okay? You can Google. I don't want to teach you. You can Google. It's a very famous sequence. Okay? Go and Google. Okay, I want to contrast between a sequence and a series. This is a finite sequence. That means you have term by term by term by term. What about series? Series will, will represent the sum of the sequence. That means 2 plus 7 plus 12 plus 17. This is a series. So we distinguish between a sequence and a series. Series is essentially the sum of the terms of a sequence. Look here. Alright, series is essentially the sum of the terms of the sequence. Again, a series can be finite or infinite. Because if you have a infinite sequence, like for example, uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, dot, 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 then you have an infinite series. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. Okay? Yes, then you have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus dot, dot, dot. This is a infinite Series. Correct? The series is with the sum, with the plus sign. Okay? So far, so good. Quite boring, actually. Let's go for a bit faster. Okay. Like I said just now, the dot, dot, dot means that it continues indefinitely. Alright? Okay, now I'm going to introduce this sign called summation. How many of you have seen this summation sign before? How many of you have seen, have seen? Need more practice, ah? Okay. Who taught you, Miss Yang? Ah? Yeah. Oh, let's check whether Miss Yang taught you correctly. No, Mrs. Wee, no, Miss Yang. Oh, don't know. Check. Check, ah? What is this? Um, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's an easy one, easy one. What is this? Don't just say out what are the terms. One square, plus two square, plus three square, plus four square. Very good. How many terms are there? Five. Very good. A bit more difficult. How many terms are there? Thirteen. Thirteen or twelve? Thirteen. Thirteen. Very good. Next. What's this? Sure? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. The boys are back. What's this? Not listening, right? Uh. See, see, everybody say answer already. You all still don't know. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Just not really say 13 ah. 13A ah. Yeah. Or 13A because you suck R is uh, inside here into a general term. This is still A. So always be A. Follow so far? And then done, you all know already? So I'm not going to say more, okay? Okay, yeah, this is already covered, sorry. I wasn't paying attention to my own notes. Okay, now. This one is miss. Well, like that, uh. Okay, come. Are we able to write the terms? Okay, now you're all right. Write this term. This one. All by yourself. Okay. J 
just don't need to evaluate, just write out the four terms. One plus one plus one plus one. Write four things. I question. Okay. This one, I don't think this is taught, right? This one. No. Let's say I tell you the sum to n terms. Sn signify the sum to n terms. That means if I say S10 is the first term plus second term plus third term plus fourth term, all the way to n terms. S n minus 1 is the sum to n minus 1 terms. To get the n term, it is the sum to n terms minus the sum to n minus 1 terms. Make sense or not? Yes. One more time, huh? One more time. If I tell you S ten, if I tell you what? Example, huh? This means, this means what? This means u1 plus u2. So are you recording? Yes, I am. Oh no. But very bad that I use whiteboard and then I use this one. Oh, sorry, I, I prefer to use more space so that I don't have to. So, not very good at the recording, I must tell you first. This one. This is first term, plus second term, plus third term, all the way to 10 terms. So, what's good? Yeah. Okay, if I tell you this is, I don't know, 100. Okay? Now, if I tell you S9, S9 is 89. This one is first term plus second term all the way to the ninth term. So what's the good? Can you tell me what's the tenth term? What's the value of the u ten? Yeah. Eleven. That means it must be this minus this. Understand? So, now this applies for all n. Because in order to get the n term, I take Sn minus Sn minus Say that this is true for all series, no matter how, no matter what is the series, no matter what rule the series follow, no matter what rule the ball series follow, this applies. Because it's true, I, in fact, I didn't even tell you what is S, what does what pattern does S1 and S9 follow, what pattern does S10 follow. You can tell me with certainty that the tenth term, this one, must be equal to here. Correct? You don't know what pattern, right? Correct? Therefore, what I'm trying to tell you is this is true for all C's. True for all C's. Press it. Okay, good. Example one. Let me know if I'm going too fast, okay? Okay, let's look at this. This expression, Sn, gives you the general expression for the sum to n terms. Question, they ask you what is the first term. How do you find the first term? Is it obvious to all of us that the first term is actually S1? Sum to one term, the first term, one, first term only. Man. So first term is just S1. It's just u1, which is actually s1. This is obviously true for all series as well. But u1 is just s1, sum to one term. Correct? It's always like that. And what is s1? You substitute 1 into your n up there, and we're done. So, which means you got to do 2, 1 square minus 3, 1, which is actually negative 1. So far, so good. Question. Then, the question find, asks you, find the nth term. This one done. You want to find the nth term. Just now we learned the nth term, which is un, is sn minus sn minus 1. Correct? Therefore, it's sn minus 
SA minus one. Again, I must emphasize this relationship. This is true. for all series. Okay? Right through all series. So what is SA? You substitute, you get S 2N squared. You get 2N squared minus 3N minus away Minus away one, minus S n minus one. That means you change the n to n minus one. Correct? Right? Make sense? All right. So therefore, you get two. And what happens next is all simplification. You get a general expression for the nth term. Question. All okay? Or oh, this one quite easy. Next. Find the sum to two n terms. Find the sum to first two n. No, sorry. Yeah, so first they want you us to find the sum to of the first two n terms. Quite easy. You want sum to n terms, you just have to n inside. Two n terms, you just change this to two n, change this to two n. So much so good. So quite easy. Sum to two n terms, quite easy. You just change this is s to n, which is two two n square minus three two n. With simplification, you get this. Question. Now, this is the one. The question always say, okay, now you find the first two n. What about the next two n? Next two n. Yeah, so you actually want this next to n, you know. Correct? You want this next to n. You have already found this first two n terms. How do you find the next to n? You find the first four n terms minus the first two n terms. Make sense? Or you want this one. You take this minus this. The next to n is not, this next to n is not equal to the first to n. It's just the number of terms are the same. You know what I'm saying? Okay? So, idea is very simple. You just, this is the most important line, which is S4N minus S2N. This idea you must understand. To get the next 2N, you will actually get S4N minus S2N. Once you know that, the rest you can do it on your own. Okay. Depends on how they ask it. Depends on how it. Let's say, for example, you have found two questions. Let's say you have found the first. Shi Chao asks what if they ask what is the next three n terms you find? Let's say you found the first two n. Correct. What about the next three n? Now you find next three n, you think about it is S five n minus S. Right? Make sense? Right? This thing. Yeah, because they only found the first 2n. An easy way to convince yourself is sub n as any number to help you understand. Let's say n is 10, for example, and you have found the first 20 terms. Right? Sum of first 20 terms. Then they ask you, what is the sum of the next 30 terms? How will you do it? 50 minus 20. Yeah. Right? It all depends what they ask in the in the first part. Otherwise, there's no next to talk about. Right? Yes? Okay. So once you got that, the rest is simple. But the rest simplification, I don't want to say too much. Is that right? Hey, by the way, am I going too fast? Huh? Are you okay? Huh? So, uh, yes. Say again. Yes, it's a series. You are right. Not a sequence. Just now I mentioned sequence is common. That means term by term by term. Series means sum. Yeah, I made a mistake. 
No, right? Oh, okay, right. Okay. Hey, why printing error? Sorry, uh, better check. Uh, in chapter 3 and 4, not 13 and 14. Uh, we have a correction here, sorry. Chapter 3 and 4, we will study two special sequences. Alright? First is the arithmetic progression, which is what I did in chapter 3. Second is the geometric progression. Actually, I can introduce both at the same time now. You all should be capable of doing it. AP. In short, we call it AP. Is this? I give an example. Eleven. Sixteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-six. Thirty-one. This is an exa example, yeah? Example of an AP. Got it? Simple lah. Uh, PSM you also know. GP. Geometric progression. General paper also. General paper also. Many things. Okay. Uh, Easier one, easy one. Uh, 3, 6, 12, 24, 48. Another example. 1, minus half, 1 quarter, minus 1 over 8. So you see the pattern? What constitute an AP? What constitute, constitute a G? Another example of an AP can also be this, huh? can also be this, huh? 10, uh, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0, minus 2. Also can. Right? It can add, it can minus. Similar, this one can times 2. Can also multiply by minus half. As long as you multiply by a same number. So, that is the, actually that's the overview of chapter 3 and 4. Huh? Can stop already, yeah. Huh? And lesson. Huh? Yes. No, that's not a GP, not a AP. Good question. Just now you asked what is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, right? Is this an AP or a GP? My answer to you is no. Next, you ask it 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4. This one is AP or GP? Then my next question to you is, if you are you able to find this? Let's say summation r square r equals to one to ten. Let's say one square out of the ten square. Can write. Q can find. Yeah, some. Cannot. Four ten. Don't know really. How come Q can four cannot? Until 10, oh, okay, 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 100. R to the power, R plus 5 to the power 4. Okay, everything. You said GC can. You sure? GC can. GC can. GC can. Try on. See who is faster. Fastest finger. I give you chocolate. Fastest. Not now, not now. I, I didn't bring our oh, next lesson. Okay, next lesson. Quick. Quick, quick. Fastest finger. Okay, 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 I'm also trying now. Not searching, I'm typing. Wait, who can be faster? What's so fast? Ah? Faster than me, eh? To the power of four. What's the answer? Uh, two, six, one, three, seven, two, three, three, three. Wow, correct, same there. Oh, yeah, same there. Yeah, very good. What's your name? Uh, Carol. Carol, very good, Carol. I also got the same answer. Two, six, one, three, seven, two, three, 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 zero. That's not an exact. Two, six, one, three, seven, two, three. Anything also can. As long as you have no unknowns, you can use GC. Follow? As long as there are no unknowns, you can use GC. Got it? Correct? Yes? 
Mr. Sweet thought you are this one. Right. Right. Can I? Okay, good. Okay. Let's go back. Um, AP. Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay. You see? Can I? Good. Now, consider this se finite sequence. First term is 2, second term is 5, third term is 8, fourth term is 11. Now, the definition of a GP, oh sorry, definition of an arithmetic progression is that the difference between two consecutive terms is the same. You notice 5 minus 2, you get 3. 8 minus 5, you get 3. This one, you get 3 as well. What do we call this? We call this the common difference. We call this the common difference. It's not difficult to see that if my first term is 2, u1 is 2. Second term is 2 plus 1 times of the common difference. Third term is 8, is 2, the first term, plus 2 times the common difference. Follow? Now I ask you, what if I want to find the 10th term? 2 plus 9 times of the common difference, right? N minus 1. So therefore, there is a, there is a pattern. That means it must be 2 plus N minus 1 times 3. Make sense? If all the n term. Okay? So what's good? This is first term plus n minus 1 times 2. Yes. Isn't 3n minus 1 the most simple? Sorry? 3n minus 1. Yeah. This is the most simple. Oh, same ah. Uh. A times b and b times a are the same ah. No diva. Wow, you so particular. Can I? Can I? You write in this opera, it doesn't matter. You write your own version. I'm not particular. It's okay. Huh? You can just directly put 3n minus 1. What do you mean? Oh, you better can. Of course, can. I'm trying to make you see the pattern. I'm trying to make you see the pattern. Therefore, therefore, this is the general formula for the nth term of an AP. This is the general formula for the nth term of an AP where, uh, AP, where A is the first term, D is the common difference. Ah, yeah. This one also so easy. Ah. Can we very quickly fill up this one? Oh. First term is 10. What's the common difference very quickly? Now <coughs> oh, you all feel out by yourself. Ah. Can you all feel these two boxes apart all by yourself? Common difference. Okay, done. Need me to go through? Call it once, twice, done. Okay? Good. Example two. All right. Getting a little bit more tricky. Example two is this. Numbers are the consecutive terms of an arithmetic progression. Find W, X, Y, Z. How? How do we do this? First, 
you know that let this be the first term, minus 4, let it be the first term, then it's quite obvious, since this is the sixth term, then we safely can say that minus 4 plus n minus 1 of the common difference, which is d, which I don't know, must be equals to 21. This is the most direct way, correct? If this is the first term, then this is the sixth term, then the sixth term, which is 21, must be equal to the first term plus n minus 1d. And d is my only unknown. d is my only unknown. So therefore, 5d equals to 25, d equals to 5. Once you have 5, the rest is quite easy. Just plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, and you're done. The most difficult part is to find our D. All okay? Can? Can? All right. Done. So the rest is easy. Example 3. The fifth term of an AP is 10, and the 15th term is 40. Find the 18th term. Again, uh, this is slightly trickier because you don't know the first term, but never mind, we make use of the idea that fifth term is 10, therefore A plus how many D? 4D is 10. This is A plus 14D is 40. Uh, you have two equations, two unknowns, and this is a very easy two equations to solve. Whether you, you want to use GC to solve, also can. You don't know how to use GC to solve simultaneous equation? Yes, right, but actually don't need that. So easy to eliminate. I don't even want to use GC. Take this minus this, you get 10 D equals 30, D equals 3, D equals minus 2. Alright. Therefore, to get the 18 term, it's just minus 2 plus 17 times 3. Therefore, your answer is 49. Question. Yes. Sorry, is Yeah, it's okay. It's quite understood. No need to be fine. Okay. Alright. Okay. All okay? That's it? Alright. Okay. Good. Next. How do we show that a sequence is an arithmetic progression, is an AP? I would emphasize that. Huh? You will you need to show that the difference between any two consecutive terms is constant. Keyword A. That means you choose any two terms, the difference must always be equal to the any two so that consecutive terms difference. That means you need to show this equal to this, equal to this, equal to dot 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 all throughout all the terms. Must equal. Follow what I'm saying? And then I give an example and I'll tell you why. Okay? Example four. Okay, I know the in front very easy. Now we come to the serious part. Okay? Ready? Question give us this is the general expression for the nth term. Right, this is the general expression of the nth term. Determine if Tn forms an arithmetic progression. This is quite easy. First, we say, okay, I find first term. We start with the minus one. Second term, zero. Because Nt2 is zero. Third term, three. Therefore, can we safely conclude because this minus this is 1, this minus this is also 1, can we therefore say that it's an AP? Some say yes, some say no. Yes or no? Because no, cannot. Why? Grandma, A, C. Okay, your primary 6. Uh, brother or sister may say yes because this plus one again plus one. Forever got pattern, but so far you have only 
said that the first three terms follow an AP. Can you be very sure that it follows AP throughout? No. Actually, on further investigation, you find what is T4. You check. What is T4? T4 is 8. Right? Then, T4 minus T3 is 7. Then you realize that, you see, minus 1, 0, 1, and 8. So therefore, Tn does not follow an arithmetic progression. So don't be, don't stop here. Don't just be very comfortable with stopping T1, 2, 3, and we're done. Very good question. Very good question, which is what I'm going to go to in the next example, example 5. Now, this is very easy to show. Now, it's very... How do I put it? To prove something, you need to prove the general law. To disprove something, you just need a counterexample. So in this case, if you want to show that it's not an AP, you just need counterexample and we're done. Nah. Correct? However, if you want to prove that it's an AP, next example will give you an idea how to show what general term. Follow what I'm saying? Can? Alright? Okay. Now look. First, the question say the nth term is Tn. They did not give you the general expression for Tn. They only give you the Sn. This is a sum to n terms. This is sum to n terms. Huh? This is Sn. Huh? So before that, let's, okay, let's find what is Tn. Huh? Okay, the nth term, remember, recall, the nth term is given for all series is correct. It's Sn minus S n minus 1. So far so good. This again is true for all series. Yes? Then we substitute in. Uh. Then we get 2n square minus 5n minus 2n minus 1 square minus 5n minus 1. We don't care how we reach there, we reach there uh, after some simplification. Uh, we assume we very fast we get here. Uh. That means what we are saying is first term T1 is minus 3, T2 is 1, T3 uh, is 5. Correct? 5, yes. Okay, and on and on and on. How do you show. Sorry, your name again? Uh, just let me ask a question. Jia. Jia Ching. Jia Ching says, okay, uh, ask how do we show that uh, to prove that it's an AP, we use general term. Correct? I want to say this at this point, you, you can say T1, and I say it's minus 3. T2 is uh, 1. T3 is 5. Correct? Dangerous thing to do. You cannot safely say that T2 minus T1 is 4, T3 minus T2 is also 4. Done. Cannot. Not enough. Because what about T4? What about T5? T6 and on and on. So we need to prove that Tn minus Tn minus 1. Okay. What is Tn? Tn is 4n minus 7. Because I already found from above Tn is 4n minus 7. Now how, what is Tn minus 1? Many of us will we, we will say, oh yeah, hey, Tn minus 1. I know. This is Sn minus 1 minus Sn minus 2. No need. No need to use this. I know this is correct. There's nothing wrong. This is correct. There's nothing wrong. But actually, if you know what is Tn, what is Tn minus 1? You just change the n to n minus 1. Ah. No need to make use of this again. Not necessary. Not necessary. Do you follow what I'm saying? So this is just minus. 4, n minus 1, minus 7. Follow what I'm saying?
follow or don't follow? So you put F minus seven and then second last step. Second last step. Oh yeah, yeah. Four and wait, wait, wait. Yeah, minus minus seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Sorry. Yeah, four and minus seven. Correct. Yeah, four and minus seven. Why did you type three? I also did. Thanks. Very good. Question. So, okay. You want to conclude that for all n, no matter what is your n, tn minus tn minus 1 will always be a constant form. Look, huh? I want to emphasize this conclusion. Since this is a constant, Tn is an arithmetic This is 4, at least no matter what is n, whether it's t 1001 minus t 1000, it will still be 4. Throughout time. Therefore, it must be. Okay? Okay? Remember just now we talked about this one. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is all the way to 1 to Correct? Yes. Yes, then we say, oh, okay, just now or therefore this is equal to uh, 100 times 101 divided by 2. Correct? Now we are about to prove this for general term, for general AP. Because this is a special case of AP, huh? Correct? Yes. I'm going to prove this together. It's not difficult, actually the idea is the same. This proof, you look at this proof of how to find the x sum to n terms, is exactly the same as that. It's the same idea at the start of the lesson. Sn is a plus a plus b plus a plus 2d, 3d, 4d, all the way to a plus n. So much good. So then you write the other way, you get this plus this plus this all the way to a. These two are the same, this is just sn. Now 2 times sn, these are all constants. Right, this plus this will be 2a and minus 1. 2a or minus 1. How many of these terms are there? They are exactly n terms. Correct? So n times, therefore, this is n times of 2a plus. Therefore, to get Sn. Divide both sides by 2, we get n over 2. We get this. This is the formula for sum to n terms. Okay. This is the formula for sum to n terms. Now, there's an even shorter one. Look, you can actually split the a up. 2a is a plus a. Split the a, you get this. This is a plus n minus 1d. This one is the n term. Correct? So, there's another form of the a, p, sum of ap formula is take n over 2, a plus n, which is the last term. Sometimes we call, I we write on a plus l, where l is the last term. Which is what we use the app here. Correct? There are 100 terms. Yeah, I, I use another form. Look here. The fastest way to do this is this. I have 100 terms. It's 100 over 2. First term plus last term. Which is making use of this second form here. 100 over 2. First term plus last term. You got to do quickly. Provided your last term is quickly available. Huh? Sorry, say again. It will surely be even. If it's all integer, it will surely be even. Because first term, if it's a series of odd numbers, then the first term and last term will surely be odd. So add together will be even. You know, it's like, oh. You see, it's an odd number. 1 plus 3 plus 5, 7, 9. The term, the number of terms, the number of terms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
like this can be 99. This, uh, let's say 5 turns, uh, easy. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So surely the result will be, you know, first turn plus last turn will always be odd, even. Uh. Uh -huh. So no, no problem. Uh. 5 over 2, 1 plus 9. Uh. Because this is even, uh. then this divide by this will get 10 divided by 2 divided by 5. Uh. You know what I'm saying? One of it, one of it has to be. Right. Okay. Oh, you, of course, if you're. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Make sense, right? Okay. Done. Okay. Example six. Uh, a level will not have this kind of question, ah. Oh, but a, ah. Oh, never. Ah, not possible. Ah. Okay. Too easy. Okay. Oh, even by GC, you're done. Okay. Don't even need to use. This is just a very uh, just introductory example, okay? Just to help us to make use of the formula, okay? A is quite simple. Um, first term is three. Common difference by observation is four. Now, but in order to find sum to n terms, I need to know what is n, how many terms are there. It's not so straightforward. It cannot be very quickly observed. Correct? It's not so easy. So to be more systematic, some of us may calculate it quite fast. Correct? It's just minus and divide by 4. Lah. I divide by 4, correct? Yeah? But, yeah. Correct? Then you can find number of terms in there. So, can. Like, but if you want to be 100% sure, let us just use the n term formula, tn formula. Then we say that this is 159. This is the last term, right? This is the last term, right? n term, right? Is n term, uh, n term, and we are actually trying to find what is n, right? Yes, this must be equals to three plus n minus one times four. Of course, you could take actually it's the same. Uh, you take this divide minus this divide by four plus one. Uh. Correct? Yeah. Wow, so boring. Uh. Give a bit of face, eh? Not so loud, eh? No. Okay. Then you get n minus 1 equals to 39 and is 40. So now we know that there are 40 terms. Okay, now that we know that there are 40 terms. Okay. Well, so fast are ending soon. Wait, uh, let me see how are we going fast or slow. Can, can, can. We are good. Sorry? End already? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 one minute, one minute. Today no bell because of uh, CT1. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, let me see how long do we need. Yeah, we need a bit of... Yeah, it's not very easy. I show you this, Ken. I show you this, so that we continue with me tomorrow. Ah, oh, no, tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow. Today is Thursday or lesson. Yes. There are two ways. One is using that first two a n minus one. This is first term plus last term. Of course, if you were me, I will of course choose this one uh, because I already know first and last time. Uh, Alright, easier. Uh, I want that easy. Okay, that. Thank you.